Well, back in the shop, just a little over a week to go till race week, and we got our fresh set of gears in. So shout out to my buddy Rick. He went ahead and put these together for us, made sure it looked good on the pattern and everything, and so hopefully no noise out of these things. Net Fresh, new pro gears, and we're going to go ahead and get this old uh, seal off of here, pop this thing up and in there. We ran to the store and got all the fluid and everything we need so we're going to go ahead new gasket go and get that rear center section popped into the car put the center section back together or put the rear end back together and then hopefully maybe go drive this thing and see if we fix the issue so then during race week we don't want to... we don't have to listen to the gears of screaming away so that'll be super nice and then we can move on to a few other things we got very minimal to scrape off of the nice. housing it wasn't it's been on there about a year and now it's got a new gasket, so freshen up the gasket before it even got an oil change. <laughs> so, don't really want to admit it, but uh, this is going to be the first oil change, which the car has right around probably 3,000 miles over the last year. Going to go ahead and do the oil change, but it was a lot of beating on it and everything. I always made sure that it was good, but never really changed it out because I was planning on doing all these upgrades and stuff to it. And, well, then it always fall through, so now it's happening. So now the fresh center section is in. A lot of people don't realize that this car runs on the stock shafts here. Eventually I'm going to need to replace these rubbers, but uh, Alex is going to get the dry shaft set back in the car, and then we will work on putting all the brakes and everything, putting the axles back in it. Well, a couple hours later, in a quick run to the hardware store, I ended up stripping out one of these nuts on this T-bolt back here. It's actually that one. So now that one is mismatched, but that's all right. We'll uh, get it torqued down here and... Keep moving forward. So Clyde is officially back down on all four. So now hopefully the rear end's all good. Go take it for a quick drive, make sure everything looks good back here because this is most important. So gotta redo those brakes. And then we will end up working on some of the front stuff here in the next few days. But let's go ahead and get this drive out of the way and make sure that hopefully it's not whining anymore. So first impression is not a lot of noise, at least not out of the uh, injectors for sure. And then we'll get down here, go a little quicker and make sure the uh, gears aren't whining. So far so good still. That's uh, probably 45 to 50. Now it's normally where it would uh, start whining pretty, pretty good right there. So not bad, not bad. Might have got it all fixed up. Don't have to listen to screaming gears this year. Brakes back there when I get some lines. Uh, but yeah, so I need to build the brace up here up front. So hopefully I don't crack the radiator at some point. And what else do I need to do up here? Oh, Put a hitch on it to try to pull a trailer this year. I think that's what I want to do. So last year with putting the roof bag on it, it was cool, it was easy, but it weighed the car down so much. So I'd like to put, throw a hitch on here. Something else that needs to get done on this before we go is the steering wheel has always wiggled up and down quite a bit well to get a steering wheel bushing they actually make them but for an rx7 which somewhere on here i guess you file off a little tab and it'll go in there so real simple little o-ring deal but here is the bushing it's like 25 bucks it's our oe mazda part so i need to pull all this part somewhere set this in there uh and then slide the column back into it and then that will tighten up the slack in the steering wheel which make it a lot better a lot safer a lot more consistent when racing this thing because at 100 plus mile an hour that's pretty sketchy so i spent a few days working on a few little things here and there i ended up getting that bar placed up in here for the extra support on the radiator and then we ended up putting the little uh then we ended up putting the new shim in the steering wheel so that is nice and tight it still is a little loose uh to a certain way because I think the shim actually out here, or the little uh, bushing, I guess you'd call it, out here is probably a little worn. But otherwise, front end's done. That's good. I do want to swap around front tires. Uh, that side's wearing pretty good right here on this edge. I think from turning and then the locker and all that. But today's big project is going to be mounting up a trailer hitch on this thing. So I got this big old piece of metal right here. And I think we're going to go between this mount and this mount cut it and then go ahead and set this piece here and then we'll end up having a little trailer hitch right right about like that on old Clyde so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out today and then hopefully we'll be just about good to go 
Just this trailer hitch, oil change, and tire rotation, or moving some tires around since you can't really rotate them on this thing, and should be race week ready. So let's try to knock out a trailer hitch for this thing. Got these welded in here, then I just went ahead and cleaned them up a little bit, but welded a nut into there. Screw that in, use a washer once it mounts up to here. And then uh, I actually replaced the one off my truck. Took this old one off, and I'm actually going to clean this one up. Uh, just going to grind it, come up with a way to tack it on here, and then I'll have to come up with ways to brace it since it'll be, you know, round bar to a square tube. I have to come up with some little bracing and stuff, but we'll figure it out and then uh, go from there. So we're going to go ahead and get that cleaned up, tack it on, and then uh, the last thing will be to come up with something so it doesn't rotate here. And we'll go from there. So now I got this partially welded on there, kind of all the way around. Uh, I'm going to probably add another layer of weld, but kind of weld deep, and then come back and kind of branch it. But I'm also going to put some gussets on here. And then also, you always forget, you need to add the little tab for the chain uh, for the safety of the trailer. So I've got that at least partially the way there. I'm going to run over real quick to like a Big R or Tractor Supply or something and see what kind of little trailers they have. The one I wanted was like at Lowe's. But they're not allowed to sell trailers until they get their license. Even though they're sitting there, they can't sell them. It's a big old mess. So we're going to go try to find something that might work for this week. And uh, if not, we'll go without. But at least we're heading in that direction to be able to put a trailer on this thing. Nothing like a little last-minute crunch. So I've been debating on whether or not to get a trailer. Finally found one. About 30 minutes away. It took me the whole weekend. So we're going to run down there and get that real quick with you guys. And then the tires on Clyde. I don't know. You can adjust the camber. Or caster, I can't remember. Usually I get those screwed up. But uh, this wheel was wearing it real bad. This one just a little bit. So this tire I'm going to have rotated. Use the good side of it. And then this one I'm going to have my spare put on there. And then we'll just carry this throughout the week in case we have to swap it on there to at least get somewhere. Because these are not the most common tires to find. So going to go ahead and take those over real quick and have those done. So let's go do that. Drop off tires and then head and go try to get this trailer I've been looking for. Also, I found it yesterday, but being Sunday in Colorado, they can't sell trailers. So that leads me to Monday morning, and tomorrow is race week. Just finished up welding the trailer hitch on the back here. So I went ahead and bolted it to the main mounts, welded it there so it can't rotate. And then if you ever want to pull it off, you just pull off the two bolts that are actually on the frame. Went ahead and put the mount there with a the little bracket, and then the chain here to hook the uh, chain to off the trailer. Then I will show you guys the trailer real quick. So there is the trailer. Just got back from getting it as well. So just a cute little three and a half by five. Figure it's tall enough to put like fuel drugs, even though we don't carry much of that. Jack, extra wheels, tires, without anything wanting to fly over the sides. So that will work out pretty well. And then otherwise, I think we are just about ready to go. So we're going to go grab a few more things, try to finish this up. Maybe we can see the trailer on this. Alrighty, so last minute, throwing some stuff in here. We still got a bunch more that needs to go, but going to just take it for a quick little jaunt. Make sure everything works here and go check out some other stuff real quick. So let's see how this thing does. Woo, so there it is. Clyde's first time pulling a trailer. Looks pretty good actually. We got definitely some more stuff to put in there. But uh, we just got to go run around do a little bit of errands still. Get a few more things before we leave. But what is that noise? Woo, there it is. So the old Buick is actually going to go on race week with us. He got his trailer, got it all set up. So we can't wait now. So that's gonna be going. Got his trailer over here. April's ready to go. Here's his trailer. Got fuel, extra C16 because he runs on that. Um, intercooler, uh, a cooler for all the ice water stuff for the intercooler. Jack, stands, all that. And the Buick's ready to rock and roll. Ooh, ain't that a sight. The old trailer's on there. Looks pretty good right there. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Maiden voyage with the trailer. <laughs> Practice run before we head out of town. <laughs>
there it is first maiden voyage with the trailer so we're gonna finish loading this thing up and get ready for day one of rocky mountain race week which will be tomorrow we got to drive from pueblo to denver about a two hour two hour 15 minute drive just to get started so we'll do all that do the trip and then actually have to drive it home so it's from home to the event and back but otherwise trailer looks pretty good we got to get it kind of packed looks a little bare right now uh, but that's going to be it for this. If you guys want to watch all the racing coming from Rocky Mountain Race Week, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.